Hello friends, in this video we will see session storage APIs in HTML5. Now, as you know, the session storage persists only until the window or the tab is open. When the window or tab is closed, the session data is lost. Now, session storage supports five APIs. Get item, it basically returns a value on basis of specified key. Set item sets the key value pair and along with the specified key inside the dome storage area remove item it basically removes the item from the session storage based on a particular key and key index basically returns the name of the key at particular index and clear will remove the entire session storage so let's uh, see through browser how we can do it now I have a simple ASP.NET MVC3 view so now if I open the developer tool for Chrome and if I check any session storage present, there will be no session storage present as the window is open just now and I have not created any session storage. So let's create the session storage first. Now while creating this uh, key in the session storage, we'll be using the set item API and this API needs the key and the value. So I'm going to set name and the value is theory on re. so I'm using set item to set the session storage now if I go to the session storage section I can see one key present under session storage so this is how you can use set item now similarly we have get item get item basically takes key as a parameter and it returns a value corresponding value of that key present in this present in the session storage so let's try to get the item we set earlier that is for name key and you can see theory on raise the value and our third is the remove item api remove item api basically removes the particular key from the session storage so I'm going to remove the same key I've created so I say remove item name and if I go to the resources tab session storage section there is no key present so this shows how we can remove the key now for further APIs I'm going to set two keys first is a name and then I'm going to set name one with theory on re one if I go to the resources tab, you can see two keys with two values that is name name one theory on re and theory on re one. So our next API to explore is the key index. Now suppose you want to know the name of the key at particular index of the session storage. So what you can do, you can say session storage dot key and you have to provide the index. Suppose I provided zero. I want to see what is the first key present in the session storage. So it gives me it gives me name. Suppose I gave one, it gives me name one. So it basically accepts the index and returns the name of the key present at the index in the session storage. And the fifth API is basically clear. And unlike remove item, which removes the item particular item based on the key key name from the session storage. Clear will delete all the items from the session storage. It basically clears the session storage. So if I say clear on session storage, it will clear all the items from the session storage for that particular URL. So you can see there's no key value present. So this is how you can use various session storage APIs to manipulate session storage for your website or for your page. Thank you friends.